we were able to run the offense tonight and we were able to end up with a lot of kills and a lot of opportunities where we put Globe back on their heels. Key in game one, we were behind eight to four and uh, we looked a little bit discombobulated there and uh, the girls were uh, struggling, just reached a point where they were struggling a little bit and then Kaya Summers stepped into the server spot and did a great job. She served a, a few aces, she served uh, balls that they were unable to do anything with except get a, give a free ball back to us. And by the time they finally stopped her serve, we had taken back the lead. And from then on, uh, we didn't look back. Tori went into game two and uh, she immediately let her presence be known and she got into a groove big time. Uh, if you see the tape, you can see how well she hits. And she's very, very aggressive. But one thing that I was really impressed about with Tori tonight, I expect the hitting. She's a big time hitter. She's a home run hitter. Uh, but the thing that I was impressed with is that she dived full out a couple times to save balls and she did a fantastic job of that. And Hannah Armenta went in and served uh, very well. She had a couple aces uh, that game. And uh, another one who was a positive for us is Sydney. We tried to get her some playing time. Sydney Figueroa, she went in for broke and set the last game. She's a starter on the uh, JV and she's just a sophomore, but if you look and watch her play. She is very agile, she's very athletic, and she did a fantastic job of setting. I was really pleased with her setting. She didn't try to do anything fancy like slides or A's or B sets. She just kept it simple and she did a fantastic job of setting and, and uh, because of that we were able to run the offense. Jenna had uh, two, at least two, if not three spikes that went down in front of the 10 foot line. So that shows a lot of athleticism, a lot of height, and she's just going to be a fantastic player. Well, I, I, th I thought it was a, a very good game for the girls on almost every level. Probably our weakest part of the game was serving. Uh, when we got the serves in, we, we had a nice job of uh, getting free balls back because the serves were so effective. But unfortunately, I would say on the evening we had probably 13 to 15 service errors, and I'd like to see that cut in half for the next match. This team that we have is a, a big hitting team. They get a lot of height in their jump, and they're very aggressive. And so I knew coming in that we would probably hit well. I knew we'd probably block well. And so I thought maybe if there was any weakness that this year's team had, it might be passing. But uh, the girls did a fantastic job of passing and I just gave an MVP ball to Jade Hegley. Out of about 14 serve receives, every one of them was perfect except for one, and on the one it was half perfect. So she did a fantastic job of uh, quarterbacking the, the back row. We know that we can do it. We know we could serve receive, pass, set, and hit, so we know we can do it, and we don't let down. Our quote, team quote is rise above, which means to be more confident, to want it more, and to the thing that I was most impressed with was their focus. And tonight I saw Brooke Cannon, she's our main setter and she always does a fantastic job, but tonight I saw a focus that I've never seen from her before. She was totally into the game and had her game face on the whole time. And the other girls took her cue and they were able to maintain that focus throughout the game. And I think that was the deciding thing for this match and I hope it is uh, the same thing for the rest of the season.